a romantic comedy. We were first to show you Jennifer and Made in Manhattan. Well, tonight we have an exclusive interview and a look behind the scenes. That type of love doesn't come around every day. No, Jennifer's not talking about fiancé Ben Affleck. She's describing her relationship with Ray Fiennes in her new movie. Oh, God, how do I tell you this? Look, the first time that you saw me, I was... You were mesmerizing. To find a good romantic comedy is really hard. This one was really kind of fun and unique. Oh, excuse me. Jennifer plays a hotel maid who's mistaken for a guest by a handsome politician. She continues the charade, but like her character, Jennifer has a hard time lying. Yeah, look, shoes are too bad. Oh, no, have a good time. Have fun. Me, I played it paralyzed because I know that when, you know, I get caught doing something, I freeze. You know, it's like I can't move, I can't do anything. Made in Manhattan contains a classic Cinderella scene. And while Jennifer doesn't want to spoil the movie due out December 13th, she does play sods on a fairy tale ending. Do they wind up together? I think they have a pretty good chance. I'll be sitting down with Jennifer in New York, and on tomorrow's show, we're going to talk about the movie and that little marriage thing. World. Jennifer Lopez, today in New York, as I get my own look at that six-carat ring. Have you set a wedding date yet? What she told me about her engagement to Ben, the latest on their wedding plans and their life in the spotlight. Michael Jackson posing with Halle Berry. And today, Jennifer talked to me about the romance in her real life and in her new movie. You've just become engaged, and girl to girl, I have to see the diamond. <laughs> May I please see that gorgeous sparkler yes. of yours? It is stunning. It's not bad. The star proudly showed me her dazzling 6.1 carat pink diamond sparkler. Though the engagement of the two stars set off a media hailstorm, Jennifer has become accustomed to living her life under a microscope. You haven't had any regrets in the last week about announcing the engagement and seeing it on every TV newscast in the country. You know, we talked about this. We were like, do you think it'll be a big deal or it'll just kind of slip by? You know what I mean? <laughs> Sir, you never know. Laughing, but... Yeah, exactly. And I was just, and he was like, I don't know, I think, I think people, you know, respond. And I was like, we, neither one of us had any idea that it would be the type of thing where it would get so much attention. Mm -hmm. Jennifer's new movie, Made in Manhattan, opens December 13th. It's a new take on the classic Cinderella, the story of a woman from humble beginnings who harbors big dreams struck a personal chord with the star. You know, I lived there for 20 years in the Bronx, and it felt like I had never left. I, I really, it's who I am, so it doesn't feel foreign to me. And we'll have more of my interview with Jennifer later in the show as she reveals more about her plans with Ben. Yeah. Together, it's Liz. Garner to Connolly, the stars with the J name magazine with Lopez's pale pink Versace Oscar gown a definite standout. Jennifer asked so in that in style a behind the scenes look at New York's fashion week with Gwyneth Paltrow. Jennifer Lopez the personal question next on ET what she told Mary today about real life romance. Is there going to be time in the immediate future to start that family with Ben? Liza Minnelli and have you set a wedding date yet? No, no, no not yet. You're not going to rush headlong in into um, it? Um, no, no. We just haven't um, had the moment to sit down and really say, you know, this is when we want to do it, this is when yeah. is good for us, this is when we'll have time to take some time off. Jennifer and Ben started out as friends, getting to know each other on the set of their upcoming film, Gili. Eventually, that friendship turned to love. Do you have any time blocked aside for just the two of you to get away and, and have some private time together in the next few months? Um, Christmas. <laughs> you will have time off? It's a little bit. Not much. Not much. But oh. we'll have some. Jennifer portrays a single mom in the film. As for starting her own family... We don't have, def, you know, plans or trying to really, like, fit this in or fit that in. We just feel like whenever anything happens, it happens. And it's a blessing from God. She is fun to talk to. And on Monday's ET, wait till you hear what else she told me about her personal life. It's a good one. And also Monday on Entertainment. In the scenes of J-Lo's new music video, Doug Bruckner has tonight's Showbiz Insider. I'm still, I'm still
come a long way from the block. J-Lo is positively glowing. A new love, a new movie, and a new album. Only Extra got this behind-the-scenes look at the making of her second video from the album This Is Me Then for the song All I Have. J-Lo wearing a pink outfit struts through a New York street, keeping it real, except for the snow, which came from a machine. J-Lo made a splash in the album's first video, Jenny from the Block, getting close to her new beau, Ben. She's currently sporting a huge rock, courtesy of the man who was just named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Oh, Lord, almost sat on your face. And J-Lo also has love on her mind in next month's Made in Manhattan. Her character's a hotel maid who falls in love with a rich man played by Ray Fiennes, who believes she's a socialite. You know, me, I played it paralyzed because I know that when, you know, I get caught doing something, I freeze. You know, it's like I can't move, I can't do anything. So the big question, will J-Lo's character find true love in the movie? Do they wind up together? I think they have a pretty good chance because I think that type of love doesn't come around every day. And J-Lo should know, she's found a love that's made to order. Monday on Extra, we'll have more with J-Lo, including what she thinks about Ben's new Sexiest Man Alive title. Another big night in the ratings. Angelina talks about her adopted son. Jennifer Lopez, more revelations about her fairy tale life with Ben. Did you believe that you would find your Prince Charming? Are we going to see another... He is Jennifer... Jennifer takes me behind the headlines for more on her romantic movie and her romantic man. This has to be an incredibly crazy time in your life. <laughs> it is. Because of everything. At some point, does it become too much? For me, it becomes like, I can't believe it. I mean, you just never know where your life is taking you and things happen and having it on the front page is a whole nother dynamic, you know what I mean? But um, it's fine. It's, it's a fun time and I don't think it's too much. I think it's all part of who I am and, and I'm okay with that. Scenes from her new movie made in Manhattan were filmed in the Bronx, Jennifer's hometown. How was it being the big star that you are now, the superstar in fact, going back to your old neighborhood. It was great, actually. I mean, it, it made for a challenging filming situation for the director and everybody else who were working on the movie. They probably didn't appreciate it as much as I did, you know, having everybody out there cheering and stuff. Opening December 13th, the film's Rag to Riches story mirrors Jennifer's real-life tale. Jenny from the Block is now Jenny Multimillionaire. It suits you very well, doesn't it? <laughs> it's very comfortable to slip into. Um, your own beautiful homes and, and ability yeah. to do yeah, anything. It's not anything. bad. I'll tell you that right now. It's really, it's, it's fun. Coming up later, Jennifer talks about her fairy tale romance. Then, Jennifer did it. Now, Sandra Bullock and Hugh Grant are trying. Leonardo DiCaprio. Lopez, it is obvious that she's in love. I spoke with Jennifer about finding Ben and the dream her life has become. Did you believe that you would find your Prince Charming in life before you did? Uh, yeah. I mean, there was a time when I felt like, like it just wasn't in the cards, you know? Um, and you were going to go through life and have relationships and it was going to be fine. But maybe you were starting to give up on the dream a little bit that it didn't exist. Finding Ben has made Jennifer believe that fairy tales really can come true. And the fact that Made in Manhattan contains so many parallels to her own life is not lost on the star. And then, much like in the movie, uh, you know, she finally finds, you know, not only a love like that, not only kind of giving you the fulfillment of, of having another person in your life, but also learning to love yourself enough. In the film, the man who turns her world around is played by Ray Fiennes. She's a great kisser. Great. We didn't use tongues, but <laughs> it, was, it was still good. You clearly are completely in control of your own career. And though I'm sure there are a lot of people around you who want to give you advice, it really is you who has the vision for yourself, isn't it, Jennifer? Yes, that, that's true. I am... Um, um, I'm the creative force, I think, behind everything. I'm the one who calls in the middle of the night, okay, so I have this great idea, <laughs> you know? And then I have these wonderful people who work with me who help me, you know, achieve those things and make them come to, to life. 
And she really is on top of the world, both professionally and personally. Is Katie Cor But not from the boss after the game.